Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, or Tuesday night, excuse me. Tuesday night, September 10, 2024, 10, 11 p.m. is a time out here, p.m., California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Let me adjust my microphone a little bit here. It's a little low. There we go. Shows a little bit of activity in Hawaii, a 2.0 right now, and also a 3.4 here across the uh, Philippines area. Now, taking a look here at the last 24 hours on the map here for California. Got uh, a little swarm of activity stretching up here once again. Look at that. Stretching all the way from about the northern end of the Sacramento Valley down through the Sierras and then in, into the Nevada region. We've seen that a couple times here uh, in the last few weeks. Uh, just some elevated activity out here against the plate boundary. Nothing major going on today as far as 2.5 and above goes. Uh, the largest one was a 3.4 there in the Clear Lake Volcanic Field from earlier this morning. So most of this activity here, all microquake activity. Nothing major going on here across the southern portion of the state for now, or northern California for that matter. Mount St. Helens, yeah, we got a little bit of earthquake activity up there at the summit area. Although some of that uh, looks like it's coming in fairly deep. I want to go over real quick and check the uh, Mount St. Helens seismograph stations. By the way, trimmer tonight, only 28 epicenters, a little bit uh, north and south. Not that big of a, deer, uh, a deal. <laughs> Mount St. Helens uh, seismograph stations out here. Let's see what we have. There's a couple of those earthquakes in the last 24 hours. As far as the seismograph station goes, let's see what we have here. Um, a couple earthquakes. These are going to be earthquakes right here in that uh, well-defined little spike. Um, go previous day here. These are, uh, this is some type of outside interference. Those are not earthquakes. So it looks like uh, there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity there. A couple smaller quakes. Maybe right here, three or four that's mentioned there. <coughs> Excuse me. On the... Uh, the map here from earlier this afternoon and this morning time period so nothing big a couple very small earthquakes we've seen it before in the past and last year as well uh, through Yellowstone National Park nothing showing up here but uh, as always I do want to verify right let's verify that everything's uh, quiet up there and indeed it is not a whole lot of earthquake activity stirring up out there for now I mean, you can look at any of these seismograph stations here, and there's really nothing showing up on them. Uh, Texas area down here, rocking and rolling slightly. Well, Four-pointer coming in earlier this morning outside of Pecos, Texas, out in the oil fields. Quite a bit of uh, earthquakes out here in the fracking pads and the uh, oil pumping operations. Uh, there's that little earthquake out here in New Jersey from last night, just about ready to drop off. The 24-hour threshold map there. Hawaii, a couple smaller earthquakes out here. Really nothing of major concern out here for now. I mean, we got some elevation going on underneath the area. But uh, as far as inflation goes, but uh, there's just not a, not a whole lot going on there in terms of any changes. Now, big time swarm down here across the South Sandwich Trench. Look at that. We got a bunch of five stirring up here. Let's go down there real quick. Check it out. Down along the uh, South Sandwich Trench here, the northern end, got a, a pretty decent amount of swarming. The latest one, one of the latest ones, a 5.7 earthquake. Now, if you guys remember back in 2019, I believe it was. Let's, let's go check that out real quick here. I'm going to go 8.0. Uh, actually, we'll do 7.5. 7.5 and above. Uh, I, I believe it was 2000, no, 2021, excuse me. So we'll just go 2020 until uh, now across the world, just to make it simple here. Uh, down here in the South Sandwich Trench scene, a 7.5 earthquake, and then a couple minutes later, a 7 point, or uh, 8.1. Now, not 100% certain if this was a full rupture here across the subduction zone or maybe a segment um, you know it's obviously it's a major subduction zone and more so up north here where we're seeing that activity today uh, 
this activity today well north of the region that's seen that eight pointer back in 2021 so uh it's interesting got got a decent amount of swarming here as lead it almost looks like it's leading to something much bigger uh, there's really no main quake that started off the sequence of aftershocks this is just a bunch of earthquake activity of various magnitudes including a large 5.7 in the mix here so something to watch pretty closely you could see some larger scale activity down there across that region uh, this area right here uh, is capable of producing some large scale earthquake activity uh, the Baja California area looks like a four pointer came in here earlier today uh, nothing showing up on the USGS map though for that earthquake but uh, that that is some earthquake activity down there so things are somewhat elevated just south here of Southern California we'll continue to watch areas north though uh, three-pointer out in the Idaho it looks like Alaska and the Aleutian Trench four-pointer coming in here fairly recent across this area uh, this afternoon time period Japan areas across the Western Pacific here not a whole lot going on for large-scale movement in fact not a whole lot going on period there across this area of the plate boundary most of the movement here clustering south into the Philippines and the Indonesia Islands area New Zealand getting in on a whole bunch of deeper earthquakes once again underneath the North Island area. Uh, South America area, typical movement down there. One region to watch here. We got a little bit of elevated activity here across Puerto Rico right now. Uh, there was an odd earthquake this morning on the Neres Plain area. It's off of the uh, plate boundary, so it's a little odd to see some earthquake activity out there in this plain region. 3.8 uh, but overall seismic activity out here is on the increase right now and it's fairly noticeable right got uh, 4.3 coming in this evening also 2.8 here around the San Juan area so things are somewhat amplified here across the area of the Puerto Rico Trench and there's a little a little bit of concern that this region can produce a large mega quake out here and it's been uh, quite a while this whole subduction zone is uh, very capable of producing some large quakes. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet, aside from that movement down south, as noted there in the South Sandwich Trench. Across the Mediterranean areas, get uh, a little bit of swarming going on here across, uh, is that Italy out here? Let me see, there's 4.2 in Turkey. Fairly recent earthquake. Uh, but a little bit further west here, we got this little swarm going on here around Greece area, it looks like. Uh, sea of Crete, maybe. Nothing showing up on the USGS side of things, but uh, some uh, four in there and a couple other threes and twos stirring up there in the last couple hours. All right, space weather activity here, folks. Where's our G2 class storm? Hello. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Sometimes they forecast these storms here and they're completely off. We were supposed to see some elevated activity here tonight. Notice they've toned down on the Aurora forecast. Goodness. Uh, that was supposed to be up around the G2 class storm. So now they're saying only a G1, a KP index of 5. But right now there's not a whole lot going on. Everything's being suppressed it looks like. Or the uh, CME activity missed us completely. So we'll look for look for unsettled conditions here over the next couple nights. Maybe a G2 class storm here on the 13th, you know, but uh, I wouldn't get my hopes up. We really haven't seen anything majorly earth directed. So I was I called that a couple nights ago. That's one of those near hits, near miss type of scenarios and it looks like it has missed us. Uh, right now no major flares going on here. A little bit of blackout being observed for the um, the sun from the, uh, I think it's a Discover spacecraft out there that's kind of uh, monitoring the data. That happens every 24 hours there, so it's just getting eclipsed. Uh, we do have a number of sunspots on the eastern limb there that's pretty much kind of playing peekaboo right now. If you look out there way out on the eastern limb here, notice some bright features there on the UV ray image of the sun. That is coming from a, uh, a couple massive regions over here. Let me pull this up and show you guys. Got uh, one active region here that's been popping off some large explosions here over the last few days on the far side of the sun. 
that will continue to get very close here to the eastern edge we'll probably see this pop up here oh man maybe by tomorrow tomorrow morning we might have a little a little peek here of the uh magnetic structure that this sunspot harbors and it looks like it's it's a dandy of a one fairly massive and again it's been thrown out multiple large cmes here uh, over the past week but on the uh, far side of the sun there um let's see what's kevin talking about here a bit of the change to the forecast um yeah i don't know i g2 storm g1 storm to me it looks like it completely missed us there's not a whole lot of uh, happenings going on there for now all right uh national hurricane center real quick the atlantic ocean well gulf of mexico area we have hurricane francine joining the party here we got uh let's see what we got here for uh wind speed 75 mile per hour uh, 75 mile per hour sustained winds there so category one moving off to the northeast at about 10 miles an hour starting to pick up steam a little bit of speed there is hurricane warnings in effect here across areas of louisiana it looks like they've shifted the direct impact area a little bit further east around new orleans uh before this was a little bit further west here so that puts new orleans area right in the uh smack dab center tropical storm warnings there in the blue uh, now this is expected to reach up into uh, I believe a category two. Let's double check that from the uh, models here Most models right now showing rapid strengthening up to a high-end one maybe category two and then obviously dropping dramatically once it uh, reaches inland there and uh, will dissipate from there so Let's see what we got for a close-up region here of the South Central U.S. area. There's Hurricane Francine headed right towards New Orleans. And uh, it's a lot of low land out there. That's, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of elevation difference out there from the sea level inland. So the storm surge and whatnot can uh, travel a considerable distance inland. Uh, fortunately, that this is not expected to be anything catastrophic such as a category four or five hurricane which would do much more damage nonetheless they still got some issues going on down there and uh, hopefully they deal with it accordingly uh northern california out here across the west coast we got some cooler weather coming in rain to the pacific northwest like always uh not a whole lot of rain for california but uh, we do have at least some cooler weather coming in here um if we check out the thermodynamic map here notice that blue kicking out the red that is good that means we got some cooler temperatures dipping down here in the northern california it looks like a series of colder uh patterns coming up here for california and then after that looks like around the 20th 20th of september things start to heat back up here before another cool down so i'm I'm at least thankful there for a periodic uh, relief from the heat because I have I've had just about as much as I can take here of the hundred degree plus weather this summer. It's one of the uh, far by by far I think one of the hottest summers I've ever experienced out here living in California, and uh, a number of all time records were broken out here uh, for this excessive heat wave that we've uh, seen through the summer. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Um, don't forget, uh, I'll be on, for the local folks here, I'll be on Sunday 105.7 FM out at Chico. Uh, noon tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Uh, so we'll, we're going to be playing some one-hit wonder music on the FM radio station. I don't think our, I don't think Sunday 105.7 has their online music up yet, but um, you can check it out there at uh, chicosunny.com is the website there for that FM radio station that I'll be on. So... Check it out. Noon tomorrow. Uh, we'll be playing some uh, interesting music out there. One-hit wonders. Uh, aside from that, folks, earthquake activity. Fairly, uh, uh, you know, somewhat uneventful. But keep an eye here on the South Sandwich Trench area. Something could be brewing out there for sure. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Stay safe.